What is up everyone, this is iReviews, in this video I'm gonna show you the top 20 free CD tweaks for 2015. The first tweak I'm gonna show you it's called Record Pause. This tweak allows you to record and then pause while you're recording and then continue recording again. You can see right here if I start recording, all I have to do is just tap the seconds right here. Now you can see it's not recording and I can continue recording again by simply tapping the seconds right here again. Very cool tweak, it doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. Next up is a tweak called Untap Music. This tweak will add your media controls to reachability view. As you can see them right here have all the media controls and also the album art right here. Now if we go to the settings of this tweak we have an enable button, then we have configuration. If we go here, there is a slider where you can set the corner radius of the album art and then here we have a button if you enable this it will make the labels here blurry but if you disable this it will make them white it looks pretty cool very nice tweak it doesn't have any more options to configure you can download it from the big boss repo next up is a tweak called clear folders this is a simple tweak what it does is that it will remove the background of your folders so now you will have just a clean folder without a background, a very cool tweak, it doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. The next tweak I'm gonna show you it's called Groovy Lock. This tweak allows you to change the theme of your lock screen. Now after you install this tweak you need to go to your settings, enable it right here, then here you can hide the lock screen clock, the stock clock of your iOS 8 device, just enable it right here. Then you have theme, if you go here you have some themes that came pre-installed with this tweak. You can also add more themes simply by going to Cydia and search for Groovy Lock. You can choose any theme you want right here. And now if you go to your lock screen, you can see it will completely change your lock screen. It has some really nice themes, it looks very cool. As you can see it right here, you can download Groovy Lock from the Modma Eye repo. The next tweak I'm gonna show you it's called Berry C8. This tweak allows you to open apps directly from your lock screen. You can see right here on my lock screen I have all these apps and if I wanna open any of them all I have to do is just drag the icon here to the middle of the device and it will launch it directly from the lock screen. Now if we go to the settings of this tweak we have an enable button right here then we have app shortcuts. If we go here we have up to 12 shortcuts which you can add to your lock screen then lower here you have auto unlock if you enable it it will automatically unlock your device when you open one of these apps lower here you have appearance you have icon size you can choose different sizes here then here you have apps per page you can choose how many apps per page you want to see then you can enable badges and also set the transparency of the icons right here then here you have a respring button you need to respring your device for all these changes to take effect next up is grabber app 8 this tweak allows you to replace the camera button on your lock screen you can replace it with any other application and also add a second application on the left side of your lock screen so you can have two grabbers on your lock screen that will launch two apps that you choose you can see right here if I go to my lock screen I still have the camera right here and on this left side I have Cydia now I have changed the camera to the calculator and you can see if I open it it will launch calculator now to, if we go to settings here we have an enable button for the camera grabber you enable it right here then you go to cam grabber application and you choose whichever application you want you have the same here for the left grabber and then a respring button you will spring your device right here and all these changes will take effect next up is a tweak called spring sounds this tweak will allow you to change the ui sounds of your ios 8 device you can see right here if i go to type something you can hear the sound of my keyboard it's way more different and the shooter sound when i take a picture it's also way more different. Now to do that you need to go to your settings, go to spring sounds, here you have sounds included, you go here then you have all these sounds that you can customize. If you want to customize one you just go here to select sound, let's go to the keyboard and here you can choose any sound you want. If you go back you can play that sound 
and then hit here apply changes and respring. It will respring your device and all the changes will take effect. Next up is Lumos. Lumos is a tweak which will add a flash icon on your lock screen so you can easily go ahead and turn on or off your flashlight without needing to open your control center. You can see right here on the lock screen here on the left side we have this icon and I can go ahead and tap here and it will turn on or off the flashlight. Now if we go to settings here we have some options for this tweak. You have an enable button right here then we have configuration. Here you have two different icons which you can choose from. To do that you just go here and you have style 1 and style 2. Now if we go back here you can change the position of that icon and also the transparency of the icon with the slider right here. Next up we have a tweak called dark color. This tweak allows you to change the background color of the dock on your iOS 8 device. You can see it right here the dock of my device has a yellow background and you can do that by going to your settings, go to dock color, here you have an enable button, you enable this tweak right here, then you have color. You go here and you can choose any color that you want for your device and then set the transparency of the color with a slider right here. And if you go back you have another slider where you can set the transparency of your dock. Just slide it to the left side to make it more transparent. To make it less transparent just drag it to the right side. Then you need to respring your device and all the changes will take effect. The next tweak we're going to show you it's called CC Loader. This tweak allows you to rearrange the sections of your control center. You can also enable or disable any of them. To do that you need to go to your settings. Here you have CC Loader. You have enable sections and disable sections. Now to disable a section you just drag it down here. To enable one you just drag it up here. You can also rearrange them simply by dragging them like this. And then down here you have dynamic media controls. If you enable it, it will show the media controls only when you have media playing on your phone. When you don't have any media playing, it will remove them and now you will have just a clean looking control center. Next up is a tweak called Better Delete. This tweak will add some very useful information to the delete window on your iOS 8 device. You can see right now if I want to delete an app like this. Here it will add some more information to the delete window. Here I can see the application size so I know how much space will I save on my device when I delete this app. It also shows other information like the version of the app and also the bundle ID of this app that I'm going to delete. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. All you have to do is install it. Next up is a tweak called CC Background. This tweak will allow you to add any image as the background of your control center. You can see right here the control center of my device looks way more different and you can change the background of your control center by going to your settings, go to CC background, here you have an enable button, then you have select image. If you go here you can choose any image you want from your photo library. Then go back and just hit done, it will respring your device and it will apply all these settings to your control center. Next up we have status bar weather 8. You can see right here on my status bar, I have the normal clock that you have on your iOS 8 device. But on the right side of the clock, I have the weather of my city on my status bar. That's very cool and to do that all you have to do is install status bar weather 8. Go to your settings, go to status bar weather 8, enable it right here. Then here you can set the weather update interval with the slider right here. Then here you can enable show temperature unit. Then here you can enable show weather icon. You can also replace your carrier logo with this tweak, just enable it right here. Then you have a respring button right here. You have to respring your device and all these changes will take effect. Next up is a tweak called Unlock Counter. This is a fun tweak that will keep track of how many times you unlock your device during a day. Now when you install this tweak, you will get an icon on your springboard, you open it up and then you have here the dates. You just open the date and you can see the exact time when you unlocked your device. Very cool tweak, it doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. And then you will get this icon on the springboard and you can open your tweak directly from here. The next tweak we're going to show you it's called Log Blur. 
This tweak allows you to blur the wallpaper of your lock screen. You can see right here the wallpaper of my lock screen is blurred, a blurred background for your lock screen and you can do that by going to your settings, go to lock blur, here you have a slider where you can set the amount of blur that you want to apply to your wallpaper, then here you can disable this, the passcode dime and lower here you have a respring button to apply all these changes to your lock screen. Next up we have a tweak called slide cut. This tweak adds some very useful functions to the keyboard of your iOS 8 device. You can see right here, now if I slide from the spacebar, hold the spacebar and slide to the A, it will select this complete text. If I want to copy it, slide from the spacebar to the C. If I want to paste it somewhere, slide from the spacebar to the V. And I can also go ahead and delete completely the word that is behind the cursor simply by sliding from the spacebar to the backspace like this and it will delete the complete word that it's standing behind the cursor. Now this tweak doesn't have any options to configure but if you go to Cydia and go to the description of this tweak you can find right here all these shortcuts that it will add to your device. Next up is a tweak called System Aperio. What this tweak does is that it will fill the space over your control center with this nice blur it looks very cool and it also has different modes which you can choose from you can do that by going to your settings go to system aperio enable it right here then you have here three different modes you have extra light you can see it right here then we had light and also dark right here it looks very cool this tweak doesn't have any more options to configure all you have to do is enable it and choose the mode that you want for your device. Next up is a tweak called Album Shot. This is a very useful tweak which will create an album on your photo library for each of the apps where you take a screenshot. So for example if you take a screenshot on your calculator app like this it will save this to an album called calculator on your photo library. You can see right here I have all the apps where I took screenshots and it will save each of these screenshots on an album with the name of that app. Next up we have a tweak called Calypso. This tweak allows you to customize different stuff on your iOS 8 device. Now the first thing we have here is an enable button, then we have Twitter settings. You can see block tweets and also have new tweets banner. Lower here you can disable the page dots, then you can enable the landscape mode for your home screen and also for your lock screen. You can see right here it will enable the landscape mode for your home screen and lock screen. Very cool. Now if we go back, you can also disable the voice control. You can do the same with the spotlight search. And you can disable also the lock screen blur and tint with the switches right here. Lower here you have folder settings. You have nested folders, which means that it will allow you to create new folders inside of a folder. Then you have pinch to close folders. Then you have icon settings never show beta dot and also you can remove the icon labels. Lower here you can enable faster animations for your device and also use the old CC bounce. Then here you have a respring button, you need to respring your device right here for all these changes to take effect. And the last tweak for this video it's called lithium. This tweak will allow you to change the icon of the battery indicator on your status bar. Now to do that you need to go to your settings, go to lithium, enable it right here, then here you have theme. If you go to theme, you have two different themes which you can choose from. That's not much, but if you go to Cydia, under lithium, here you will find a link where you can go and learn how to make your own theme for lithium. So these are my top 20 free Cydia tweaks for 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed them and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, you can go ahead and follow us on Twitter. You can find the link to our Twitter account in the description of this video.